Well, you know it as the world's largest music festival, Summerfest, releasing its lineup today. And new at six, Sarah Pancary, president and CEO at Milwaukee World Festival Incorporated, joins us live with a little about what to expect from the big gig this year. Sarah, I know you've been with the organization um, for a number of years. This is your first time as president and CEO. Congratulations. How are you uh, managing all the expectations, trying to carry on the legacy? Well, when you're, you know, you're really stewarding something that is much, much larger than yourself. And it's 56 years of festival that's been cultivated with the beautiful Henry Meyer Festival Park, right? Uh, 75 acres devoted to festival right on Lake Michigan, steps from downtown Milwaukee. It's a wonderful opportunity for me, but also really our team is is second to none. So we're thrilled to uh to present 140 artists that we announced this morning, adding to some some artists that had already been announced. Um, and we're re really just so excited to continue that legacy in 24. It's 600, right, all together. And I, I hesitate to throw out the, the big headliners because I don't want to leave anybody out. But, I mean, they, they are some big ones. Who are you, who is hardest to get? Who are you most excited about? Who do you think is going to be the biggest draw? Well, you know, uh, Tyler Childers is is just a terrific artist. He, he's really come up on the Americana scene. We're really excited about his performance. But, you know, I make it really, really careful not to not to quote unquote choose children right now. We've got 140 <laughs> artists that we announced today. Um, and of course, everything from Little Uzi Vert to Motley Crue to Kane Brown to Keith Urban to AJR with Carly Jepsen. I mean, these are the type of, it's the type of variety that you see at Summerfest. And that's in our amphitheater. Then you go into um, other stages on the grounds, which include everything from Ario Speedwagon to Fletcher to Three Dog Night, to In Vogue, to Bryson Tiller. I mean, the list that really goes on and on. So I encourage all of our friends in Chicago to come up to Milwaukee. But first, go to summerfest.com and, and really dig into this lineup. It is, it is spectacular. Yeah, it is every genre. It's every era. I mean, it's really astounding. 600 artists, 12 stages. Talk to me a little bit about what's happening beyond the music. What do you want to highlight that uh, is maybe a little bit different this year versus other years? Well, you bet. I mean, I think one of the one of the features of Summerfest, and it really it speaks to our nonprofit mission as Milwaukee World Festival, is our accessibility. So right now, you can come, go to the website and get a sixty five dollar ticket that accesses all nine days of the event. So we're over three different weekends, and really the ability to see twelve hours of music over nine days for sixty five dollars. And we're talking about headliners that are really represent all genres. That's really the that's really what we do here. We're so we're really excited about that. But we'll also announce um, more. More to come, right? So more, more special features, more uh, some art this year. We're really excited about. So we're really excited to, to make more announcements. But a new stage is coming right at our midgate with um, with Aurora. They've helped us rebuild um, one of our, our covered stages. So you know, again, more 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 to come. Really, like we we need everyone to to, to join uh, our family and and stay tuned. Well, and you said family there. What if you? I mean, you want to bring your family? Do you have kids options that uh, that you want people to know about? You bet. As a, as a mom myself of a nine-year-old, one of her favorite places in Milwaukee is right on the lakefront where we have over an acre of play space dedicated to families. So that's um, accessible playground equipment. It was really, really important as we redid this park three years ago um, that it, that we offered accessibility for um, kids of all abilities, as well as a fully programmed children's stage, um, a sports zone, and then a family services building where you can find you know sensory rooms, permanent uh, family restrooms with tiny toilets uh, for training, um, as well as just this beautiful, beautiful playground. So lots of activities, not only for all the music fans, but all, all the families out there as well. Something to look forward to this summer, three weekends again in June and into July. Sarah, thanks a lot for telling us all about it. You bet. We'll see you soon. All right, and good luck.